Welcome to Basket of Tales, a time travel into the world of stories. Welcome to Basket of Tales. Today's story is based on a very popular African folk tales as part of our series of stories from around the world. Hi, this is Miss S and I am very excited to share this wonderful story called The Three Brothers and the Pot of Porridge. Let's begin. Three brothers were traveling through a dense rainforest jungle. They were walking all day and it was almost getting dark. They needed a good place to rest for the night, a place where they were safe from the wild animals. As they continued walking, they were lucky to find a small isolated hut in the distance. When they arrived at the hut, they met a kind old woman who invited them and offered them a place to stay. The old woman also offered them some porridge that she had just made and kept it in an iron pot. Although the brothers were hungry, they politely said no, as they didn't want to trouble her more. The old woman gave them some mats and led them to a room where they could lie down and sleep peacefully. In some time, everyone fell asleep. Suddenly, the youngest of three siblings woke up and was very hungry. He was upset with his siblings because they had declined the old woman's offer to have some porridge. He quietly went into the kitchen to see if there was any porridge left. And certainly, there was enough porridge for one person. Apparently, the old woman hadn't eaten it at all and she must have saved it for the next day. But she was so kind that although there wasn't enough, she still offered the food to the three brothers. Eating just a little will not hurt, he thought to himself. So he ate a little. Then little by little he finished the entire pot alone. And as soon as he realized his mistake, to cover up his mistake, he went out and picked up some rocks and filled the pot with them. He didn't want the old woman to notice. I think this is perfect. We would leave the hut as soon as the sun rises and by the time the old woman would notice, we would have gone. He laughed and said to himself, The three brothers got up early the next morning and continued their journey. They said goodbye to the old woman and thanked her for her kindness. After they had left, the old woman sat to have her breakfast. And to her shock, she found the pot was filled with stones. She was very upset with the three brothers. She was so kind enough to offer them food and shelter, but still, they did not have a grateful heart, she thought. She decided to chase them and confront them. She was very old, but also very strong and determined. She was able to catch up with the three young men, who were yet to cross the river. She accused them for stealing porridge and stuffing stones in the pot instead. But the brother who spoke for them sincerely denied it and apologized. However, the old woman was convinced that one of them had committed a crime. So she asked them to go through a test. Now, because the brother was so sure that they had not done anything wrong, he agreed to go through the test. Now, the old woman took them to a spot where the river had a crossing laid by a trunk of a tree. The trunk was rotten and wobbly and was about to fall any time. She then instructed each one of them to walk across the river over the log by humming a song taught by her in Yoruba language. Yoruba is a language spoken in Nigeria. 
All the three brothers memorized it, and this each sang this song, which is translated in English for you all. If you eat the old woman's oatmeal, let the sea take me. The first two brothers confidently crossed the river while singing the song. However, the third brother was very scared of being caught, and it was his turn. He was nervous and was fumbling. His steps weren't firm, and eventually he landed in the water. He then apologized to the old woman and his brothers for lying. This wonderful story teaches us about being truthful. Never lie, never steal, and never cheat. Honesty is the best policy. and always have a grateful heart thank you for listening and i will see you all soon with another wonderful story until then take care and happy listening